Greetings, brothers and sisters in Christ. Just want to let, give you a little um, understanding from a pretty neat passage of scripture over in Psalm 34, verse 4. Here's what the psalmist says. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Now, when the psalmist wrote this, it's King David and he is running from the persecution of Saul or he's remembering the persecution of Saul, he actually runs to Abimelech, and Abimelech doesn't really help him. And so what I find interesting about this passage of Scripture is, is that at that point in his life and in his heart, uh, he relinquished uh, any of his human resources, and he turned to God. And this is an important aspect of who King David was, an understanding that within his own power, within his own ability, within the framework of all the resources he had at his disposal, guess what? He had to turn to God. He realized that God's ability to deliver him was greater than anything that he could find or use or bring forward against the persecutions of Saul. So what does David do? According to the passage of scripture, it says he sought the Lord and what? He answered me. So, so David, with confidence, goes to the Lord. As we come boldly into his presence, in his presence, we go boldly into his presence and we seek him. We ask of him. And so David goes to the Lord. And what does the Lord do? The Lord does two things. First of all, he answers him. Now, I've taught this before, and I want you to understand, believers, that God always answers your prayer. It may not be the way you want it. But God always answers the prayer of a true believer. And then second of all, what happened? He went to the Lord and the Lord heard him which, and he answered his prayer. And what did he do? It says he delivered him from his fears. Now, ultimately, yes, he found safety because the Lord provided an escape, as he promises he'll do. He provided a way for him to get out of the persecution that was uh, coming after him from Saul. However, uh, the Lord delivered him from what? What does it say? From his phobia in the Greek text, from the fear that he had, this is Hebrew text, but the same concept in the Hebrew. He delivered him from that fear that he had, he had from running from Saul, that he had of uh, being persecuted by King Saul. And so this is a pretty neat idea. His heart, his mind were transformed as he sought the Lord because then the Lord worked in him and gave him a plan, a path of escape from the circumstance and situation he was in. When I think about that, I can't help but think about Matthew 7. When Jesus is teaching in Matthew 7 uh, verses uh, 7 through 11 or through 10 actually. And here's what he told us. Here's the words of Christ. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and ye shall find. What? Knock and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives and who seeks finds and he who knocks it is open unto. What man is there among you who when his son asks him for a loaf, speaking of probably a loaf of bread, We'll give him a stone. The boy needs something edible. You're going to give him a rock to eat? Or if he asks for a fish, would you give him a snake? He asks for food. You can give him something that would hurt him. Hmm. Verse 11. If you then being evil know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your father, by the way, who is not evil and has no shadow of turning or evil within him, how will your father who is in heaven Give what is good to those who ask him. Now, what a great Lord we have. We can seek the Lord. He hears us. He answers. And by the way, I believe if you're in fear, he will deliver you from your fear if you'll seek him. Because in the presence of the Lord, fear vanishes. When you seek the truth of God and you uphold the truth of God, and you walk in that truth, fear is diminished. So let us, as the body of Christ, when we fear, let us seek the Lord. Let him deliver us 
out of our fear. That's my prayer for each and every one of us. God bless y'all. I'll speak to y'all again later on in the week. Thanks for listening.